Hi guys, welcome back to Times with James. Strange couple of videos coming up. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll have known that I've been to Bratislava and Vienna recently. In fact, I went to Bratislava probably two months ago, but I had a bit of a catastrophe where I snapped in half one of my SD cards of all the drone footage that I'd done. So I had to wait a few months before I went back to Bratislava to refilm it. What we're gonna look at in this video is the post-communist history of Bratislava itself. You're also going to meet our guide, Peter, which I hope I've said right. I know Pete is gonna be watching this and he is going to be the main guide for you and for me while we go around on this video. The president is at home as there is a flag on the top. Okay. Interesting is that this palace was used in communism regime as a house of pioneers. We're going to have a look around the ruins of the old bunker system that goes around Bratislava. But this was like two floors high, so we will enter, but Apparently someone has shit here just recently, so be careful where you are stepping. Because Bratislava was a frontier town, not only between Slovakia and Austria, but also between the communist east and the capitalist west during the Cold War. So we can have a look at that. And we're also gonna have a look at the border itself and its history. We're going to go around in two really old cars around the city. They're so old, people were pointing and staring at us as we drive around. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. There's loads more in this as well. And there's going to be a few more videos from Slovakia coming up in the next few weeks on Times with James. So please come on for the ride guys, please hit that subscribe button, the on-air light is on, and let's get on with the video. Let's go. Before we dive into the tour, let's have a quick look actually at where we are. Bratislava lies on the westernmost tip of the country of Slovakia. The River Danube runs through Bratislava and it's about an hour away from Vienna. It also lies on the border of what has been a few different countries over the last hundred years. As recently as 1918, it was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Slovak and Czech lands united to form Czechoslovakia all was going well until 1938-39 when the Nazis effectively annexed the country through the Sudetenland and was known as the Slovak Republic. The Slovak Republic was in a proxy way allowed to rule itself until the Slovak National Uprising of August 1944. The Germans occupied the country from October of that year and the Slovak Republic lost much of its independence. But it wasn't to last long because the German troops were gradually pushed out by the Red Army and the first Slovak Republic ceased to exist de facto on the 4th of April 1945 when the Red Army captured Bratislava and occupied all of Slovakia. But really the country was trading one occupying force for another in the form of the Soviet Union. From 1948 to 1989, Czechoslovakia would be ruled by the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia. The country belonged to the Eastern Bloc and during this era of Communist Party rule, thousands of Czechoslovaks faced political persecution for various offences such as trying to emigrate across the Iron Curtain. In 1989, the Velvet Revolution ended the Communist rule of Czechoslovakia peacefully and Slovakia became an independent state on the 1st of January 1993 after the peaceful dissolution of Czechoslovakia, sometimes known as the Velvet Divorce. So then guys, you've seen the history of Slovakia and you've seen the history of Bratislava as well. Let's go down to the present day now, where we're gonna meet our very friendly guide, Peter, and also meet his little car, Belush, as well. He's gonna take us around the city where we can learn more about post-communist Bratislava, World War II Bratislava, and just Bratislava itself. So let's get going, guys. See you soon. <laughs> Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet How's it going? Hi. 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 Hi.